what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frowns. Can't hop out, then we clearing the Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Coley. We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we got a special guest. It's Kobe. <laughs> Period. So, we're going to play a game. Um, I'm asking a question to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Okay. Um, favorite artist outside of hip hop? Anita Baker. Best thing about Memphis? Food. Favorite app on your phone? My bank apps. <laughs> <laughs> last thing you spent money on? Ooh, food. Um, last song you listened to? My song that I have unreleased, Carbon Freestyle 2. Okay. Um, an artist that should be performing that isn't? Dage Oh, yeah. I mean, she just did Roll Out Miami, I think. Oh, she did? Yeah. I be missing Dage Yeah. She she back outside a little bit now. Yeah. Outside. Okay, <laughs> Dage. Um, a conspiracy theory you think is real? First of all, I know aliens are real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Celebrity crush? You miss me. <laughs> Cat Carbon. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Um, most underrated. Ooh. Somebody that you feel like the city's sleeping on. Somebody needs some more love out here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Uh, who need more love? Who need more love? Who need more love? I can't think. It could be a girl, a boy, somebody upcoming. <laughs> <laughs> it was happening. No. Okay, skip, skip. Can I get a pass? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, a song you know every word to, aside from yours. Pooh Icy, Back in Blue. <laughs> okay, Dream Car. Tesla. No, Lamborghini. Lamborghini. All right, craziest DM you ever got? Oh, this girl, she be texting me. She's so crazy. She be like, I'm going to come out of your show. I'm going to snitch your chain. I be like, what? Wow. What's wrong? Wow, okay. Take a chill pill. Okay, and then you're building a collab for females. Who you put in? Oh, come on now. <laughs> Glorilla, gloss up, slam her on your Lisa Cat Carver. You knew that. Period. <laughs> All right, so getting into music, how did you get started? Um, I always been able to rap. I always rap when I was a little girl. Like, I always been lyrical. Mm -hmm. Never played with my pen. Okay, so was he writing poems? Was he just writing? You know what? Nobody ever asked me that. I actually could write poetry. I had did a really good poem for a scholarship years back, and I want to find it so bad because I want to do a video with it because it was Aww. so good. So you got the scholarship, and then you went to college? Girl, hell no. Oh. They oh. look right over there, poem. <laughs> I want them to know I'm a rapper now. I don't even want this scholarship. Wow. Okay. Did you go to college, though? Yes, I went to college. I went to a community college in Memphis. Okay. What was your major? Business, maybe? Um, what was my major? I think I had like a ecology. I don't remember. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Okay, so was your family always into with the music too? Yeah. Okay. They always supported me. They still support me. All right. Did you was you playing the music before you laid it down or like how did they know? I was always rapping, like family reunions, like I was always rapping, even just on a regular day, like in the mm -hmm. with my folks, like I was rapping. Okay. So was the hair business was taken off and then you was slowed down on rapping or was so, it all the same time? Oh no. I had one song, right, in Memphis that had a good buzz. Like it got a million views, probably more than that. I haven't checked on it. Mm -hmm. Uh and that was my first that was my first music buzz, right? But I mm -hmm. never took music serious. So after mm -hmm. that, I was back in school. Like I was like sixteen. I was in school when I did the song. So mm -hmm. I was back in school. My goal was always to finish school, right? Right. I wanted to go to college. I wanted to finish school. So uh, when I got to college, that's mm -hmm. when I started with the hair. Okay. So the hair business was booming ever since it popped. Like. Right. Um, I never had a dead moment until now, until like I've been on the road, I've been out okay. of town. That was like my first dead moment, but it was my hair business was booming and it was popping and it kind of slowed down. And then rap picked up at the shop, okay. booyah and all that. Everything, yeah. Yep. Okay, so are you, how is it managing both right now, music and hair? Super difficult, overwhelming, <laughs> no sleep. How are you keeping peace right now? Doing um, two businesses? Two brands, you got a brand to keep. I make sure I get my sleep. Like, 
I be telling my, like, I give myself a bedtime. I be like, look, I'm not finna be up to 2, 3 in the morning talking mm-hmm. about what I'm finna do for not her business. I'm going to sleep at 12, 30 today. Even if I don't go to sleep, I'm finna watch TV till I go to sleep. Like, I I get my wrist. Because I, I wake up super early. Mm-hmm. Like, no matter what, my body gonna okay. get up early. So. Like, 9 a.m. or like 7 a.m. early? It, it just depends. Because we travel now, too. I say 8 a.m. is like a, always getting up around 8, for real. Okay. Getting up around eight. So how did you meet um Gloss Up, Glow Rilla? How did you meet everybody? So Glow always was investing into her rap career, like since I've mm-hmm. known her. When I met Glow, she paid me for a feature. Mm-hmm. But keep in mind I was selling her and shit in the city. Yeah. That really what I wanted to do. Okay. I ended up well, no, she ended up continuously continuously supporting me. She was buying lashes from me. She was buying her from okay. me. One day I pulled up over her house to uh, drop her off some lashes mm-hmm. and Gloss was there. Right. And I remember Gloss because she performed at my brother's birthday. She performed at Pooh's birthday. Okay. And I was like, oh yeah, I know you. Like, you mm-hmm. Gloss up. And she was like, man, we need to do a song. Like, we was just talking, but yeah. end up doing it for real. We end up doing like two or three songs before we end up linking with Slamarani and Aliza mm-hmm. yeah. at a showcase that she hosted. It's called The Ring. Okay. We end up linking with them. And he kid, he was also at the showcase. We end up mm-hmm. linking with them. And ever since then, it's been up for us. Up ever since. Okay, so how do y'all, I guess, keep each other motivated? I feel like y'all all be on each other to stay on We be toes. honest with each other. <laughs> like, if we bullshitting, we gonna get on that group FaceTime, and we gonna be like, bitch, you bullshitting. Mm-hmm. Okay, this how it go. Me and Glow always been the outspoken one. Mm-hmm. And at first, Gloss just used to be like, it's whatever. I don't care. I don't like, that was her personality. <laughs> and then Slime and Elise are the sensitive ones. Like, they don't really speak up how we do. They okay. speak up, yeah. but if they see something, they probably just going to be like, I mean, y'all bullshit, whatever. But we going to be like, bitch. Like, we, we super <laughs> okay, so outspoken. Each other. We outspoken. Right. That's how we get on each other, like. You know, we talk. We get on the group FaceTime. We talk. We we link up a lot in person. We see each other a lot mm-hmm. in person, way more than it may seem. Yeah. So we talk in person. Yeah. I mean, that's good, I guess. And then everybody's still working on their own career. I think that's really good. Right. Too. Oh, yeah. And we support the shit out of each other individually, too, because we right. all are still individual artists at the end of the day. Right. So in Memphis, was it a lot of girls coming up at that time? Let me think. <laughs> yes, no. Possibly that's messy. I'm sorry. Um, I can't say what I'm thinking. Shout out to all the girls. Y'all know I fuck with y'all. I fuck with y'all. Like it was a lot of girls in Memphis. They had reached out to me, paid me for features. Shout mm-hmm. out to Elmer Rex. Shout out to uh, Jay Chanel. Shout out to Look You Legendary. Shout out to all them girls that reached mm-hmm. out to me and paid me for features. But them other girls, they they was hating. I mean, I mm-hmm. guess they was rapping, but it was like okay. Yeah. Cause like in New York, I feel like people like be dissing each other trying to get lit. You feel me? Yeah. So But like, he never gave that we was finna rap on. Yeah, right, right, exactly. But the reason I asked that was because everybody I interviewed from Memphis brought you up as like one of the girls oh, that's rapping real? in the city. So yeah, I sat down with big homie G, Y to be fat. Trip oh, I Star. fuck with Yeah. I fuck so with they all mentioned you as like okay. one of the girls that's rapping I in the city with So um so yeah, do you feel like you got a lot of love from your city? <laughs> yes and no. Why no? Before this shit, before this blowing up shit, bro, you, I feel like everybody, like, excuse my language, was on my dick. Mm-hmm. And then when I started coming up, it was like I was receiving hate that I'd never seen before. I guess because they thought I wasn't going to clap back, but. <laughs> yeah. I wink. So you see it, you say something if you feel like it. You know what I'm saying? But you're super busy now. Right. Right. So, like, you know, you're doing stuff. Of course, giving back to your city, you did the give back. Yeah, I still love my city, but they got weird. They got super weird. Is it that that they think you, I guess, more Hollywood now? No, because I am I still be in the hood. I yeah. still pull up at the beauty supply, like, my, <laughs> where my hair at, in the hood. I okay. still pull up solo, dolo. Like, I, you still see me out in Memphis a lot because I sell her. So, it's right. super hard. Like, not to be adding about it. And right. like, I don't think I ever stopped it. I so could be an a list of celebrity. I think I'm still being my hood. A whole lot of, I guess so I just got to get a lot of security, but I'm still being my hood. Like, I mean, I feel like go there when necessary, once you, like, lit, lit. But, you know, so, okay, so, like, doing the hair thing, right? 
You right. have a you have a salon out there or a shop out there? Uh, I'm inside of a beauty supply store, and then oh, I do like okay. the online stuff. Oh. But I really, my goal is to do a shop one day. But what's been hesitating me? Um, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to do it in Memphis. No, running it every day won't be a problem because of course I'm a hiring employee. Yeah, yeah. But you don't know if you want it in Memphis. Right. Know. Where would you put it at if not there? It gotta be in Memphis, though. This is where I started, like. But if not in Memphis, uh, Atlanta. Atlanta, I know he's gonna say that. Atlanta. Yeah, I feel like Memphis and Atlanta kind of like. Atlanta. Say. I feel like Atlanta is more so the market that I always wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Like I always wanted to be luxury. Like I used to get dragged in Memphis for my prices at first. Okay. But I knew what I wanted. It was expensive, period. Was right. Like, but yeah. you know, in Memphis, we we kind of be behind. We kind of delayed to okay. a lot of hip stuff like mm -hmm. you know waves hit us kind of late and i didn't even notice that until i started traveling, traveling like more. damn we kind of get hip to stuff a little, a little later, later than everybody else okay. so i used to get dragged for my prices at first uh but then the people who was dragging me them ain't even that ain't even the market i wanted to tap into anyway mm -hmm. i always knew the standard i always knew how i wanted my brand to be Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's why it was so successful because I, I tapped in with those yeah. people that I wanted. I mean, yeah, people want to buy designer. It costs a lot. You're going to get Thank it you. how you get it. So, yeah. So, if you want to wear, if you want to wear rainbow. And if you like, want your hair to last, I feel like you got to Thank spend. you. So, right. If you want to wear rainbow, of course, you're going to try to drag <laughs> Gucci for their prices. Right. But y'all two different people, two different markets. Y'all got two different interests. So, yeah. So, what are some of the, I guess, pros and cons of being a female in the industry right now? Because the girls kind of got it right now on the music tip. Pros? Yeah. Pros? I feel like we finally getting a chance to, like, get our way. Like, long <laughs> right. overdue, long overdue. Cons? I feel like it's getting very oversaturated. I feel like a lot of people jump on it and do it because they see it's lit. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they be having, like, that deep passion for real. They just, they just do it because they see it's lit, you know? Yeah. It be people that never rap before just drop a song out the blue and it be like... All the time. Yeah, and it be like... You know, it's just because I of the mean, way. This is my dream, right? It's yeah. maybe because of the way. Though. Right. How do you feel about the the uh, a lot of guys I feel like be hating when the girls talk, the pussy talk, or the sex talk? What you got to say about that? They talk the dick talk. Do they not? <laughs> right. Money talk, whatever. Right. <laughs> so, um, but I feel like you're pretty versatile. I feel like you talk that, and then you be talking your shit. Yeah. Yeah. And you be like, fuck these niggas. Period. All the time. <laughs> so, what's, what's dating life right now for Carmen? Girl, <laughs> what is my dating life like? I got my little year, but that's my little boo. Like, he gonna forever be around. Okay, so is this like a long time love, or this is like something kind of new? Yeah, this is my little high school sweetheart. Oh, okay, so, so that's gonna, like, I ain't gonna lie, no matter who I fuck with, I feel like he probably forever be around, because it's like, we watched each other grow up. Mm -hmm. And so he know me, know me. Like, he not going to be like no new nigga just getting around K. Carvin because of K. Carvin. Mm -hmm. Like, he know me, know me. So okay. it's it's crazy. But, you know, other than that, I really don't be stunning niggas right now. Because I got to <laughs> I gotta get this money first. Got to get this gotta money. Get this money first. Okay, okay, okay. But you've been in tune with, like, Pooh Shiesty and stuff. You yeah. Showing you love. Okay, was the Shiesty mask a thing in Memphis? Or, he like, started he made it. that pop in, He right? started it. Right. He started it. So how was that seeing it go worldwide? Like I feel like everywhere, everybody. I didn't even was know it. that they called it Shiesties until this year. <laughs> I didn't even know. I never knew that. Yeah. I, I I never. That's knew the thing that. in New York right now. The I never knew who started that until recently. You started traveling more. Yeah, the kids always got a Shiesty out here. That's like the thing right now. And I remember that nigga, bro. He used to have them goddamn. You know what Autobahn is? Autobahn. Nah, put me on with that. It's like a go kart place in Memphis, and they give you the ski mask. And oh put, yeah, it's like go kart racing. He's had a goddamn auto bomb mask inside out, and he used to be wearing it. Like <laughs> that nigga been doing the skis since high school. Yeah, he definitely started a whole wave with that he one did. though. Okay, so coming up in the industry, you're meeting a whole bunch of different people. Uh huh. Who's some people that gave you some good advice? Gangsta Boo, Long Live Gangsta Boo. Um. Oh, we met Chris Brown. For real? And he, yeah, right, right. before Shabuya, he was, like, very, very down to earth. Cool as hell. Mm -hmm. And he was, like, he wanted to hear our music. He was telling us, like, play some of y'all shit. Uh, <laughs> and he was just telling us, like, keep going. Y'all got it. Mm -hmm. Like, he said that. He was like, man, y'all yeah. keep going. Y'all got it. And, he, you know, he talked some words of encouragement, shared a little bit of his story with us. And mm -hmm. 
I think that's the experience that I never forget. Um, anybody on your bucket list that you want to meet that you haven't yet? Yes, I love Meg. This Meg, I love Meg, and I love um. Damn, girl, boy, boy. Um, older, la, la, la. younger, singer, R&B. I don't um, even know no boy that right now off the top of my head, but Meg for sure. Meg like I love sure. Meg, yeah. Yeah, I feel like y'all give similar vibes. A Cause bit. she a Houston girl, and I always <laughs> feel like Houston and Memphis girls was like they had them bars like that. Yeah, like them bars like that. Mm-hmm. So, do you like how do you push your pen? Like, do you like read the dictionary, you read books a lot? Like, how you push your pen? No, I just <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Just based on prior knowledge, see, I okay. was real smart in school. School, okay. So, so this is all stuff you've been. Learning. Yeah. And then they go to college, so I mean, like, right. yeah. So, so I guess just based life experiences. Is, like, lyricism really important to you? Or are you more yeah. so about the feel and stuff? I think I'm too lyrical. Like, I think too hard sometimes. Like, if I'm in the studio and then I be writing something and then I don't like it, I be like, mm-mm. I'm, I'm, I'm more lyrical. Okay, so you kind of hard on yourself, you feel like? A lot. <laughs> okay, so, like, how do you, like, I don't know, how do you bring yourself up when you, like, overthinking? Look at my success. Okay. Like, I look at the stuff I done done. Like, Shabuya was a very successful record, so I'd be like, chill. Mm-hmm. Like, you hard as hell. Look at this. Like, Do you feel pressure being that Shabuya was so big? Mm-mm. No? I feel like y'all still got it? Y'all got it? Yeah, I feel like it, it, it just set the tone for the direction that we going in. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't feel like it's no pressure because I know what I'm capable of. And I just know as soon as the world get on my wave like and they listen to my stuff Mm -hmm. and they be like oh shit like outside of these group projects like individually yeah and when they get on the wave and they tune in they're gonna be Mm -hmm. like oh shit like this shit lyrical because like like we were saying like i'm more so bar 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 Bar, bar. type of rapper yeah period okay cool so shabuya was so many tiktoks Y'all had TikTok in the show Cole. What was some of your favorite viral videos on TikTok? Janaya. When her son was like, bitch, I'm big carbon. She was like, don't don't say that. What she say? She was like, don't say that. Yeah, he was like, that's my song. And she said, no, that's not your song. That's day song. That was so funny to me. I swear to God. And it was like this two little white girls I seen when they were singing. Yes, that was so funny. (laughs) And Lakia had me tripping when she got on there. And she like, bitch, I'm big carbon. When she was singing, bro, that shit was so funny. I was like, fuck, no, these folks are crazy. (laughs) So what advice would you give to a girl that's coming up in the industry right now? Stay true to yourself. Stay true to your grind. Stay true to your music. Don't let no wave change you. Don't let people change you. Because a lot of people don't know what they be talking about. And don't go with the first thing that presents itself. Period. All right, so we're going to play this or that. I'm going to just give you two options. You just pick which one. Okay. Wigs or ponytails? Wigs. <laughs> okay, flights or road trips? Flights. Reality TV or regular TV shows? Regular TV shows. Okay, would you, a rich man that's, wait, what? A rich man that's boring or a funny man that's broke? Rich, boring man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, comedy movie or horror movie? Ooh, this hard. Okay, uh, I gotta say, I gotta say, <laughs> comedy. Comedy. Okay. Okay. Strip club or regular club? Regular club. Okay. Okay. Smoke or drink? Smoke or drink? Can you not answer that? See, I smoke every day, but I'm not finna drink every day, so I smoke. Straight hair or curly hair? Ooh, I like my curls. Okay, curly. Okay, period. Okay. Um, tour or video shoots? Performing on tour or like video shoots? Video shoots. Video shoots. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Both. <laughs> okay. Length or girth? What's that mean? <laughs> girth. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all talking about dick? Yes, girl. Okay, length or what? Length or girth. Like how thick it is or how long it is? <laughs> girth. Okay, Christmas or Thanksgiving? Christmas. Set the tone or hot potato? Set the tone. Big flex or chain talk? Big flex. Tattoos or piercings? Tattoos. Cascade or trap museum? Trap museum. Wax or shave? Wax. 
Future Amigos. Damn, that's hard. That's hard. Tied up. Future. Future. Prada or Louis Vuitton? Prada. Okay, my wife and kids are Martin. Martin. Walmart or Target? Walmart. And frontals or closures? Frontals. You get frontals. I was like, every time she got a frontal hood. <laughs> oh, yeah, frontal for sure. Okay, so tell people to find you. How can they tune in with you? So, Instagram, K Carbon with two underscores. I'm K Carbon on YouTube. <laughs> Instagram, K Carbon with two underscores. I'm K Carbon on YouTube. On Twitter, I'm underscore underscore Cambria, K I M B R Y A. And on Facebook, K Trini. So, but really just look up K Carbon. I'm going to come up on all platforms. And that's the talk of the town. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you check out our website at www.talkofthetownshow.com.